Welcome back, everybody. We are playing more of the quarry today. Finishing up our playthrough we started yesterday. If you're watching this video, you're probably like, there was no break because I'm watching the videos. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped for parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Uh. <whistles> Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. I don't understand. She knows that he sabotaged the truck. Why don't you just ask him what he did? <laughs> Man, back to walking. place has a very creepy vibe very creepy I know someone needs to get to give this man a hand yeah Jacob sabotaged the truck because he wanted to get back with Emma uh, but he told her that he was gonna do that. So I'm surprised she didn't ask him what the hell he did. Especially wasn't like, what did you remove from the truck so we know how to... to fix the car. All right, so there's movement, it lights up. He's been thinking and thinking about how to get us out of this problem, but he's quite stumped. Uh, problem. Oh, fuck sticks. I mean, there must be a way to open it. Mm -hmm. Maybe in that house thing. Let's take a look. Let's try. How do they get? We're in the middle of the woods. I don't know how they managed to get this much junk into the middle of the woods. It's very impressive. That green button's a trap. I'm not going to press that just yet. What's upstairs first? That looks interactable. Full moon, the 22nd. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. SUV by Dems. Keep this off the books. Who's T? Mm. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. T money. Dodgy. You said it. T money. Keep this off the books and out of the way. T. Why would you write it on the note, keep it out of the books? Like, 
dude. That's like it's so incriminating if someone finds that. You could be like, oh, I misplaced it, but nope. Now it's written on there that you just did you committed a crime. There's gotta be else, something else hidden in this place. Some secret. Or none. This button looks sus. Yeah. Let's go. They're definitely gonna use that light thing later to like show us that something's moving by having the lights turn on. That light come on sounds very intense. Oh look. This is where they dump all the old memes. I see dongers. There's the Harambe memes. Oh, Doge. I remember all these. These were all classics. I don't know why they died out. Oh, there's Get Owned. With a P. Ah! Sorry, that was scary. <laughs> <sighs> That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? You both are bad. Yeah. Ah! I know Chad enjoyed that. What's down this little dark corridor here? A lot of dark. God, those lights are very like intense when they turn on and off. Bus tunnels, interesting. Well, let's go. Let's go over in this building here and see what's in there. Wait, that's. No, that's where it came from. Oops. Very dark in this quarter. That goes up over there. I see a crane over that way. Uh, how did he miss his hand? Or lose his hand? Well, he was. He and Chris earlier were in the um, the radio station, and then there was a monster attacking, and he asked, "Hey, give me a hand with this," and he was like, "Here you go," and ripped it right off. True story. Brian's okay. He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. It's 
amazing. All this rain falling and the blood isn't even remotely going out their faces. I was waiting for Dan to go live. Then I remembered it was horror month. How much did I miss, chat? Uh, only a whole day. Only one day. It could have been more. We started at midnight yesterday. Not not today, but the day before. So it's been about 36 hours. I see a giant crane. You know, at some point we're gonna get attacked by a werewolf, and we just have to be prepared for that. <laughs> Judgment. Ooh. Arrow card. So many cars out here. What is that? Discarded signage. Uh, Tornenberg remains an old sideshow attraction. The way they're intertwined with the rest of the scrap shows they've been sitting here for a long time. What's this? Aram Scare. Seeing this, Caitlin? Hi, Dan and Chap. Hi, Dusty Wilson and everyone else in chat that said hi. Hello. Look on the back side before we check out the crane. Crane definitely seems like the main path. This car is in. No, it's not in the way. That it was. That way's blocked. So this is a dead end. Feels like Horror Month was just a few months ago. Time, this year has been absolutely flying by at record speed. Like, it feels like it was yesterday. We were playing Dying Light 2. Look. Oh, we're trying. Okay. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. <laughs> nope, nope, uh -uh. Oh, I hear that. Yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> sure, yeah, sure thing. Um. Just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. That is not a story you want to ever say again. <laughs> I know one month until uh, God of War Ragnarok. I hope it's good. I hope it's mind-blowing. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. 
Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Oh my god. My bad. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. Here goes nothing. That's the truck that they were um, driving when they got attacked by the thing. The first people. I think I found my calling. That was too About easy. About time. <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. Oh, score. Uh oh. Just drop the damn thing! Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. <laughs> Don't push it. Get all that with one hand, by the way. That was impressive. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. Thank you, meat distributor, for the Prime Gaming sub. <laughs> and Blue Bodily with 40 months resub. It says Dan C. <laughs> meat dist Of all the names for your Twitch name, you go meat distributor. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another t-shirt giveaway from Alan M21. Well, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Um, what's wrong with this guy? I don't know. He probably just has trouble expressing, like, extreme emotions. I don't know what disorder that would huh. be, but some people are like that where they what's just don't that? externally right express track. emotions very well. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Um. <laughs> he has no shortage of smart ass comments, though. <laughs> now, I don't think he's sociopathic. He definitely has emotions. He just doesn't, like, express them externally well. Uh oh. What was that? How do you not see it? It's right there. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Gosh, she morbed. Morbin time anymore? Thanks. For um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? This is over. This isn't over. Uh, what do you mean? I don't understand. Chris is dead. Huh. 
But Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. I've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area. The but carnival people. In this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child. Giant white wolf. White wolf. What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go. At the, At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. I'm gonna go with sus. You? You're sus. I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. There's not many people okay, left alive. Okay, so where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? I... I'm confused why she unmorbed. If he wasn't the first werewolf. And your chance. Oh, silver back to mirror. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family, and you failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can Audio's still out of sync. come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? The sun, the vital. All right, so if I get it correctly, so you have to kill the werewolf. <laughs> so there's different like chains. So Chris kill Chris transforms some other people. So if you kill Chris, the people that he transformed turn back to normal, but the ones before him don't. So you gotta keep going back werewolves until you find the one that like did the rest of them. So some of them are back to normal, but not all of them. of a new day there's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived your choices your actions your very life hangs in the balance it's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again Judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned. A fate deserved. Likely. But he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. Oops. He won't forget. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Um. 
Yes, show me my future. Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. Judgment. Oh my god, what? Prime gaming? Oh my god, that's in our future? One last time. Go back. Go back and end this. The developer um, Talos game had thousands of endings. Well, usually the games will have like five, six major endings. And then lots of little details in those endings, like someone's alive or dead. Someone's alive or dead, you know. Usually there's like two or three like big endings and then minor differences between those endings, like this one's alive, this one's dead, you know, that kind of stuff. Brought to you by Haynes. They survive werewolf transformations. Oh, yeah. Is that Justin Long? He's looking more like Justin Average right now, but. Yeah. Where the hell are my clothes? Oh, she took his clothes. I forgot. You gotta be kidding me. Oops. There's no nudity okay. in this game, period. Gotta they decided to censor the nudity. Oh my god, he's in her... <laughs> Looking good, though. Hot. Like the yoga pants. Looking great. This game just got better. <laughs> um, nothing like the mid drift. I wonder if they had planned to have nudity at some point and they just decided let's censor it so it can, we don't have to like deal with uh, game rating stuff. Because if you, if you have boobies or hoo-hoos or ha-has in a game, like some countries like you can't even sell unless it's adult only. Some countries you can't sell, period. Maybe they're just like, let's just not deal with that. We should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah, gore is fine. Somehow we're all fine with bloody murder, but a booby? Oh, God, no. Aren't they all teenagers anyway? I think they're like going to college, so 
they'd probably be just 18. I guess it, yeah, it would be kind of weird if some of them are not quite 18 yet. Because some of them have were applying to colleges. I mean, they're probably like 18, 19. Someone will probably make a mod, though. Don't worry for the PC version. Hat on. Very nice. Or maybe Hostess just has a trademark on Ding Dongs. Hmm, stay or swim to shore. He's safe here, so I don't know why we would go to shore. Uh, yeah, werewolves can't swim, so he's safe in this little island, period. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he might be able to save someone else. I don't know. It's like, uh. Well, instinct says to stay. Be safe. But the developers are jerks. So I'm going to go swim to shore. Because usually what sounds safe is not. Okay. As I said, they're jerks. <laughs> that made no, how did he not see that thing? How did he not have time to jump into the water? Like what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> like what? Okay. The deck, well, the, the docks all lit up with lights. Like how did he not is, see right? that? What? <laughs> Great. Just like the cartoon. They showed the dock. It was all lit up with it's lights. So he, how do you not see it? Just a little time. How do you figure? <laughs> they don't like water, remember? That's right. dumb. Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. <sighs> all right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. And they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. I gotta get a vantage point. Come on. Yeah, the 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 dev supermassive games love to have things like that where three people have swum across that lake and they're just fine, but the last person you do it one more time and then oh, instant dead. Or staying is always safe until one time it's not. <laughs> I guess they just de they design it so that way 
you just have to replay it and just know ahead of time all the right decisions to get like a perfect ending. <laughs> oh, hi, Tifa. Are you a good kitty? Everyone say hi to Tifa. It's our kitty cat. She's right here. She came to say hello. Hi, Tifa. Because, like, sometimes, like, staying safe means that someone else dies because you're not there to save them. Sometimes getting into danger is actually the correct way to not die. Sometimes you just never really know. It's like a coin flip. It's just a lot of trial and error. You want more pets? You want more pets? I'm sorry. You want more? Okay. She reached out and touched my, my shoulder because she wanted more. and there's info you could use to make a better decision like position of monsters what you can see can you see where monsters are on the map well max is dead <laughs> I can't, I can't get out of here. I'm stuck in the screen. There, oh my God, that was. Oh, Tifa, Tifa, why did you press that? <laughs> Tifa, she walked across the keyboard to the helmet. What's not okay? Yeah, close that window. Werewolves cannot go through glass doors. It's a, it's the law. Um, that's all secure. Is the front door locked? Guess so. Is that a paper there? Nope. This is all broken. down this way it's like no I'm playing as her when I have the gun that means I'm about to fire at someone at some point let's look up oh, never mind not upstairs Ah, tissues. I need those. Let's go up 
the stairs, I guess. I'm sure it was sub on thanks for the sub. You're welcome, some key. What a happy family. They're all dead now, but what a happy family. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. John Cena. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. The champ? <laughs> His official title is champ, ma'am. Thank you. Chad is also acceptable. Uh, John Cena follows tens of thousands of people. I think How hundreds of thousands of people here? on Twitter. Large overbearing, this regal old painting of Septimus Hackett holds the pride and the place on the lodge's chimney. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. Yeah, don't stop. There's probably more things to discover. Harem Scarum. Harem Scarum again. Chris Atkins, two kids into the traveling show Harem Scarum six years ago. That's where they got bit. No, a absolutely not. We, we have enough on our plates already. Stop discovering shit. You shut up. I'm trying to get all the loot, damn it. You're not the player. You're an NPC. Shut it. Deathwish, thank you for that resub. No other channel I'd rather use it on, especially for those awesome Well, thank you so much, Deathwish. I'm glad you're enjoying the emotes. Julia's in chat. Make sure you tell her how much you like the emotes. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Mm. Ian. That was the name of the dog on the dog collar. Marl the steep uh, disease ca uh, deceased camp mascot Ian from the looks of drawing it, Ian was a sheep. No, though nobody got to meet him this year because he ate it the sheep. Right. That's who Ian we was. Camp mascot. But no, we did. But you didn't hear. H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Uh, the actor that played Dylan started streaming on Twitch recently, too, which is neat. That's awesome. The guy from Detroit Become Human started streaming on Twitch right after the uh, Detroit Become Human came out as well. Yeah, someone was hungry and ate the sheep. It happens. What's in the attic? Hopefully more clues and secrets. A ring. Where have I seen this emblem before? Uh, discard jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. Inscription reveals that it belongs to Bobby Hackett. What is it? A ring with a crest on it. Oh, very fancy. 
You can never pull it off. Sorry. Did they remove his hand when he made did this roll for realism? I remember oh, wow. Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, RIP megaphone. It's a lot of empty space up here. What's this? It's a box. Now, chat, cam footage. that is a VHS. Like they're looking for something. That's what videos used to be on. You put it in something called a VCR to watch them. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think he might be right. Trial cam footage. Full moon. Archive trail footage from Hackett Woods dating back six years. <gasps> I got all the evidence. I can prosecute. Anything in this little corner before I go back down? Other than that mirror? Did I get all the tarot card? Um, I got all of them. Minus 11. I missed one or two. Sets of six. Oops. Oops. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That beats for life, we're proud okay. to say. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. Yeah, We're hacketeers. <laughs> Two months and you never learn the words. <sighs> Do you blame him though? Showtime, motherfuckers. Uh oh. Hello. This You're jerk. Yeah, well, don't sound so disappointed. What the hell happened to you? Where are the others? I don't. I don't know. Okay, everyone's sort of everywhere we need to get somewhere safe yeah sure whatever dude what's up what do you what do you mean what's up look around you're being all weird and mopey no i'm not no i'm not you are looking like carrie over there what the hell spill it don't kill it I'm sorry, okay, it's just... This isn't exactly how I pictured the last night going. Yeah, you and everybody else. Yeah. Hell of a way to end the summer, huh? Man, when did it come to this? Are you really live? I ask myself uh, that every day. Earth to Jacob? What's happening right now? Shit. Um, 
Um, I gotta come clean. Um, what do you mean? Uh, Emma. Look, it's my fault we're stuck out here. Oh, Jake. Uh, I, oh. I messed with the fan. You know, when I realized we were seeing another night, this is exactly what I worried about. I know, I know, I'm so, and I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Okay? I just, I wanted to spend, I wanted to spend one more night with you. You know, together, like, like before. No, I still have feelings for you, Jacob, but this was a summer fling, that's it. We're, we're not good together. We're just not. And you didn't want to spend more time with me? I don't want to be in a relationship with you. You've got to respect that. You know what? You're right. You're right. I guess you're, uh, you're not the girl for me after all. I should have known that. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> what? Sure, yeah, this is all my fault. Keep telling that to yourself, bucko. Well, I mean, you, you're the one who rejected me, so it's kind of your fault. Jacob, you are not a good guy. True. Look, what can I do to make this better? Jacob, there is no making this better. All you can do is hope you live long enough to take responsibility for your actions. It's not long before sunrise. All we have to do is wait it out. Until dawn! Can I wait with you? It's a free country, man. Goddamn right it is. Goddamn America. We like our werewolves. What the? Oh my god, the pain's a werewolf. Shoot it with a shotgun, this is our best shot. Okay, now I need to run or reload. You piss it off. Yeah, that'll stop it. How about another bullet? Oh, sorry. 
Get your own place to hide. Jurassic Park. has really dumb senses. He got infected. It's good. Never mind. He might be. Well, he bit him. He might heal up since he got infected. She didn't get bit, so she's probably dead, dead. I, I chose to run because at the very beginning of the game, the guy said, man, that freezer would be a bad place to be trapped. But I guess that was a, a lie. The freezer is death as well, is it? Oh my God. So what exactly happened six years ago? <laughs> there was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? There he is. That was easy. Found him. <laughs> Wait, why is he asleep? Oh, because he... Travis! Travis, get a 
it together, come on! Come on, Travis. I got it. I got it. Just get down. Jesus, take the wheel. Under the car. He's gotta be nearby. Under the car. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Really? Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but... Yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. We'll have to replace at some point and make everyone live. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Yeah. You're sus, sir. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Um, yeah. Let's do it. Let's fucking do this. Go team. Well, everyone else is dead. All the likable characters are dead. Yeah. Just didn't do it just Abby this. dead. I don't know half of it. Dylan dead. This is where I saw her. Caitlin dead. Her. Her I brother's dead. Was, <laughs> I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my gosh, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vores. Sal's mother. I th think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? We didn't start the fire. It was always burning. Since the world was turning. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She 
just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, the whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Oof. Wouldn't he be easier to kill when he's down in werewolf form? This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. What? And how did you lead us here? And how did you know what this was? Oh. What? Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Oh, there he is. That was easy. Fucking Jesus Christ. Please, let's just let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. That wasn't that hard. You couldn't do that. In six years. Achievement unlocked the white wolf. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I am clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. Wait, you're Silas. I've been with you all night. 
And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's going to be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Kevin, can we follow a restraining order against the creepy lady? Thank you. Is there a way to leave everyone alive? Almost everyone. Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several, several murders. You know, it might be a tactic though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. This lady wow. sounds very familiar. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some 
developments. And I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, mm. but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. Oh, That's something God. that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So, today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. I'll be right you back know, in we're a We're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh. I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine, yes. you. It's, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah, Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but course you can't. What, do I have, like, a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy! A cover-up! Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Anne Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. <sighs> I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So maybe they 
were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, okay, that's not nothing, I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm Mm-hmm, yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, Uh closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. What ads? <laughs> Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet nope. Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long are we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? So that's the letter. I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. So, I don't think that's going to be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit! This is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. It's a little sus. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. 
Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. I thought and the credits were ending, but they we were like, <laughs> no, more, thing. player, more now, credits. To me, empty implies that it was once full. Same Z's. Blood stains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay. Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real. Super natch. Shit. Super See, natch? you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay. This is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool. A camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest. If it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. Can I, I can't see it. Is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it... Uh... A skinny bear? A skinny okay, bear. This could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. True. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Making huh. deep fakes? Yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears. It's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, Aww. but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide Why it, are we all dance try. slam? <laughs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. It's okay, okay chat. This hand? is lore. No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you can I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay. So what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors. Emma Mountebank downloaded from her phone. Oh my god, is this real? Well, <laughs> that is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shocked. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. The hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah? There's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The hag of Hackett's quarry! See? Full circle! Ghost! Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Why can't we see? Please, try to explain I, I don't what know that what's that thing. There's this thing that makes your mind. You see faces and stuff. There's people. There, there's Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. <laughs> this could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still <laughs> questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though. I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks, so did happen. No, picks you can fabricate. Experiences you can't. I need to, I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's Quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me, no, I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just fi find me a wall, I'll take a fork and just go to town. What an artist. T-shirt giveaway in chat. Well, to me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? 
because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. Oh. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell True. me this isn't freaky Same. as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin? Fur? Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I can I see it in the no, it's dead. Uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, a lot of men want to touch the flesh, but to me was smart you have to get to consent, that people. It would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right, I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man, you're desperate not to believe. If there's Congrats, reasonable I doubt, pay, you have I to play assume to win. it's not real. You won Occam's razor. the giveaway. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. So those kids, the ones who survived. Yeah. Why aren't they coming out with all this? Kids are always on the internet. Th these kids actually have something interesting to say. Why aren't they telling anyone? I don't know, but someone did come out with it. Whoever gathered all this info and submitted it to me. That's right, me. Do we know I did that. Who this is? This could just be a teenager making fun of you. No, a teenager couldn't possibly do this. I think you're being cyberbullied. This is carefully curated information. Someone went into the depths of a dark mystery and retrieved all this information. And and gave it to me. Someone smart, someone clever, someone genius. And it's all been hushed. And if what we're looking at has any truth to it, then I'm not surprised. I think we've been contacted to expose it. So these kids who survived this, they're just out there living their lives? I mean, that's, that seems weird to me. I wonder what it took to keep them quiet. Whatever really happened, they'll be carrying it like a curse wherever they go. So you really still don't know who sent this to you? Nope, complete anonymity. But the photos, the way they're all set out, it looks like evidence. Like they came from somewhere, I don't know, official. Okay, turn it off. What, why? Why didn't you tell me about this before? What, uh, I've been telling you about this it This is actual now. stuff, Grace. We have to take this to the police. Okay, so. Then you believe I it. I don't know. Maybe. You never believe anything. Why is this any different? Because it's starting to make sense, okay? Our name on that letter, the missing hikers, the family secrets. I, when you True. put it all together, it's certainly something. Someone's trying to tell us something. And we should probably stop recording this right now and tell the authorities, right? Heck no. It's just getting juicy. And who says we're not the authorities? Uh... I do. We're not the authorities. What? It's not like we have a moral duty to take this evidence to the authorities. We, we do. Hack it, Corey. Case reopened. New evidence just found play. Thanks to the evidence brought forward by Podcast 2 is now uh, thought that the hork. Hack it, Corey. Deaths were not caused by bears, but other unidentified animals. Woo, it's over. <laughs> Yeah, is there anything after the the credits? I can't seem to skip them. Is there like an after credits cutscene? Okay, we got the credits have to be over, right? See, it's there's nothing there. We're at the end. We're at the end. It's over. That's it. Bizarre yet bonafide podcasts. 
So they have actual fake podcasts out here. Okay. I enjoyed that game. I thought it was fun. The writing was pretty inconsistent during through a lot of it. A lot of things were like, what? Um, some of the acting and stuff and lines were a bit cheesy and weird. But overall, I thought it was pretty fun. I, it was an enjoyable experience. And one I'll play with Chad again someday. And we'll try to sit, keep everyone alive. I liked it. Although I felt like this one was very similar to Until Dawn. Kid stuck in the cabin in the woods. A feral monster that's human-like on, you know, very Until Dawn-like, but it was still good. Yeah, I just like, the Wendigo and Werewolf are kind of very similar monsters, you know, but I liked it. I think Until Dawn was a bit better, but this was pretty good too. And it's a different enough in, the, in certain ways that it was, I liked, I like them both. But it's kind of similar to each other. Um, yeah, but overall, I really like this game. 